Hi, my name is Ruman Khan. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add HTTP basic authentication on Mule API Manager. To begin with, I've logged into my AnyPoint API account and I'll navigate to API Manager. Right now, what I have here is I have an API manager, then endpoint configure to this URI. As you see, this doesn't have any authentication on it. So let's go and add basic authentication to this particular endpoint. So in order to do that, we'll have to add policies, apply new policy and HTTP basic authentication. So this is what we are looking for. Right now it is disabled because it requires a security manager. So to get this enabled, we'll have to first add a security manager, which is here. Let's add a simple security manager. So I'm just going to name my username and password as test test apply. Once we have this uh, simple security manager, we can now add HTTP basic authentication, which is now enabled. Say configure policy. And here, as you see, it says like this policy does not require any configuration because it's already connected to my security manager, which has the username and password. All right. So now that we have both of these policies applied, let's go back to my API and let's try to navigate it now. It does work. Usually there is a little bit of delay by the time the policy gets applied. So let's give it minute or so. All right, let's try again. This time I have a incognito window so that the browser doesn't cache. Uh, aha. So as you see now, it is now asking me a username password. I'll just enter some dummy text to see what happens. Okay, it doesn't work. Right, so let me now give test test login. It works. So as you see, we were able to add basic authentication on top of an API in like 30 seconds. So if you are hitting the same API using Postman, So I have the same API over Postman here. Let's try to see how it works. I don't have any header right now. And it gives me an error saying registered authentication is set to mule security filter, HTTP basic authentication filter, but there was no security context on the session. So as you see, the API is complaining that there is no authentication provided for this endpoint. Let's go and add basic auth test test request send we were able to verify it now adding the basic authentication with with the username and password configured on api manager so one thing to note over here is in the policies although i have um, a security manager you can always have only one username and password which kind of uh, I feel defeats the purpose because if you have a single username and password and if you're using the you're giving this username and password to multiple clients and if one of the client compromises it then you're kind of compromise the whole security so you might have to go and modify your username and password which will mean everyone else will have to change hope this was helpful and thank you for watching this video